Hey, snipers. Okay. I know that I've been pretty inactive lately. I've just had a bunch of stuff I needed to do, need to catch up on. So, um, without further ado, time for another tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to put uh, commands, like as you can see I'm in the test plugin. So I'm going to be taking pretty much all my commands and moving them to a separate class. You don't have to bring all of the commands to the same class. You can have some in different classes, like um, in this one here. I have each command in a separate class. So I'm pretty much going to be showing you guys how you can do that if you wanted to. Okay, so first let's make our new class. So I'm hoping you guys remember how to do all the class stuff. And we'll just call this command. Okay, so now that we're in the commands one, we're going to have to go implement. Let's see if I can spell this. Nope. There we go. And then command, oh, no space, and then executor. Executor, let's see, is that it? Nope, or. Uh, let's see. What am I spelling wrong? Okay, so, oh, yep, yeah, okay, there it is. So, we're going to import it. And there we go. So, for those of you that didn't know what I did, it's pretty much the same as with the on enable, on disable. I'm not sure if I showed you that, but uh, once you import, uh, well, I'll just show you here. Okay, so once you, uh, no, I scroll. Okay. So once you do the extends Java plugin, main will kind of be underlined and it'll get you, or pretty much tell you it needs the on enable and on disable. So with this, because you're implementing command executor, it can do pretty much the exact same thing. So you just go add unimplemented method. Okay. So I'm just going to change this up a bit. We're going to change this one to extender. And then for instead of arg1 we're going to go cmd and string uh, I believe it's label and then we're also going to add string oh no never mind it's down below never even noticed that okay and we're going to call this one arg uh, that might have actually been what it was okay so we can just delete that we won't need that and We'll just return true. There's not much of a difference in return true, return or return true, and return false. True just means pretty much okay, I'm done, and false is just telling it there's something wrong. Not always, but you can look it up for a complete definition on that. I can't remember it at the moment. Okay, so let's go back to the main class, and as you can see. This right here all matches in here. So instead of just doing that, you could have just copied and pasted that, but I decided I'd show you guys that way. Okay, so let's cut all that. And I can delete that because I no longer need that. And we can just paste it into here. Okay. And so we're going to have to do the same thing that we did for the player listener because it can't find the variables and the variables are in the main class. So let's just open up our player listener. Okay, so the public main plugin and public player listener main instance then plugin equals instance. We're just going to copy that and pretty much put it in here. Now we're just going to change this to command and there you go. Save. Uh, let's see. Oh. And then we're going to pretty much have to change all of this to plugin dot. So it's referring to the main class. 
I wish they had a way that you could just easily do this, but now you gotta go down to every single part of it, got the top, and put it in yourself. But so it's gonna work the exact same, but now you can do it a lot neater by having each individual command in a separate class if you really want. I usually just put uh, all my commands into one class, unless I'm doing a big uh, plugin like this one where it's going to have a bunch of different commands. I kind of stopped making it that plugin a while ago though. I still have it just kind of as a reference for me. Okay, so now we can go into here and let's just remove all the stuff we don't need to import anymore. Okay, save. And we'll just change the version to 0 0.4. Save it. And we'll just export it. Uh, yep. That's exactly where it needs to go. And then I'm going to have to uh, plug and test and start the server. I already got my Minecraft open. And we can just go localhost, wait for it to finish. Yeah, I ended up just making a complete new folder. Got a few different things going on. Okay, so we're going to join this. And yeah, I have noticed. Okay, so let's off me. Don't think I'm off yet. Okay, so test. Oh, okay, so this is what we forgot. We forgot to tell the main class to import that as their com as its command. So, we're going to go to the on enable and get command. And then, it kind of sucks, but in order to actually get the command, we're going to have to take each individual one and do this. So, test and dot set executor new command because that's the folder or class we have it in and then this I believe that's right yep okay uh, nope it's going to want one more okay so all this one's going to do is if you type the command test it's going to go into here and find it so you're going to pretty much have to copy the exact same thing for every other one. So I think, actually, uh, I'll skip the fly. So we'll go feed. And uh, what's another command I got in here? Free. So, yeah, here, I'll, I'll just show you what I mean. Because I have each one of those in an individual class, I have to do this. So for every single command, you have to type the command in it, and then you're going to have to type the class that it's referring to. Okay, so now it'll all work. And load. Slash. Oh, oops. Ended up doing the wrong plugin. Okay. Reload. There. Uh, yep. Okay, and I believe freeze. Okay, so that's how you put a command in a new class. I'm hoping to start getting these tutorials coming out like once a week, twice a week. Um, I'm also starting to do some recording with Call of Duty. So, not sure how many of you guys out there are fans of Call of Duty and Minecraft. But yeah, so I'm going to have tutorials coming out once or twice a week. Okay.
So now that I'm done this one, I'm going to go record the second one. See ya.